going to make a video today about uh, reversing motors on R2-D2. Um, what we've got here is the uh, Siren motor controller that controls the dome motor rotation. And this is the Sabertooth which handles the uh, drives for the feet. And you can see the difference here. The dome motor is a single motor, so we have black and red, which is our power input. And then we have these outer two wires that go to the motor. So this one, my uh, dome motor is spinning reverse of the direction I want it to. So you've got a couple options. You can swap these two wires here on the siren. Or, I could swap them here, where they connect to a connector that is soldered to the dome motor. Or, I could reverse the wires on the dome motor itself. For the saber tooth, again in the center we have positive and negative voltage coming in. And then again we have two wires, but these go to one of the foot motors, and these go to the other foot motor. And this is where it gets a little bit complicated. Um, I don't know, you could easily figure out the odds, I'm not going to because it's not easy for me right now, <laughs> but figure out the odds of having these two wires and these two wires in the right orientation and the pairs in the right position to get it right the first time where you just randomly hook them up and R2 goes the proper directions. I wasn't that fortunate. Uh, when I hooked mine up, uh, R2 was steering one way when I tr moved my controller forwards. The other way when I moved my controller backwards. When I moved my controller to the right, it was going, I think, straight. And when I moved my controller to the left, it was going backwards. So I had to swap the pairs of wires, I think on both motors, to get that to where forward was forward, reverse was reverse on my controller. But then I had a problem where, which is where it's at now, where right on my controller makes R2 turn left and left on the controller makes R2 turn right. So the only way to fix that, physically fix that, is to swap these two pairs over to here and these two pairs over to here. Now unfortunately because I'm using these connectors, um, I don't have them equally spaced from the saber tooth, I, I had no idea about that, that that would possibly be an issue. So you can see this wire here is short and this wire here is much longer because the saber tooth is not centered in this board. So I could take the wires that go from the longer connection and move them to a shorter connection, but I can't take the ones that go to a shorter connection and stretch them to a longer connection. So there is, I believe, a way to do this in software. Um, I went into the Sabertooth software and I looked at the code and I found what seemed to me to be a way to reverse it in the code. Um, I just figured that there might be a way to do it in code and I think I found what where it is I posted on Astromac, nobody answered my question, so maybe it's a dumb question to ask. Um, if the reverse direction parameter in the shadow code will leave forward and backwards the same, but left and right will switch without having to touch the wires, but I'm pretty sure that's what the commands, uh, the parameter will do in the shadow code, but nobody has answered my question, so I'm just going to do it and see if it works or not, although I'm pretty darn sure that it will work. I did not find that same command for the siren in the Sabertooth code, so I don't know if that's because the siren is so much easier because it's one motor, so all you have to do is swap 
two wires, whether it's here or like me if you have a connector and then another connector that goes to the motor, that's four places where I could change these two wires to correct that turning in the opposite direction that I want it to. But uh, this is the one where, like I said, I'd have to physically move pairs of wires to fix it for the foot drives because you're dealing with two motors, not just one. And my wires aren't equal distance, so it makes swapping these pairs a big hassle. So I'm going to try and do that in the software code, and I will show that on the computer when I get to that step. But the first thing I will do is figure out whether I have enough space again in the back, because I did try to make wires as short as possible. So I might not be able to swap the wires here. The easiest place to do it might be where I have the motors actually soldered or the, excuse me, the wires actually soldered to the motor, which means taking the motor mount out of R2 to get to it. But I'll have to check that and see. And then once I've done that, I will fire up the computer and get the shadow code up and um, explain what I'm doing there to hopefully um, virtually swap these two wire pairs so the forward and back is correct and left and right is correct. This video is hopefully going to show how to alter your Shadow MD controller code to reverse the drive motors. So this is useful if your R2 is driving forward and backwards correctly when you move the PlayStation Move controller forward and backwards, but he's turning left instead of right or right instead of left. Now, you can do this through the physical wiring but in order to fix it that way, you have to swap four wires. You have to take the two wires from the right motor and the two wires from the left motor and swap them at the saber tooth controller. If you swap the wires at the feet, um, you will not be able to get him. You'll get, be able to get him either going forwards and backwards correctly, but the turn's reversed or You'll get the turns correct, but forward and backwards will be reversed. So you either have to swap both pairs of wires between the right and left motors, or you can do this in software. So um, I figured there might be a way to do that. So what I did was I looked up the Shadow MD code. Now I've got an older video on how to program your Arduino Mega 2560 with the Shadow MD code, so I'm not going to go over that now. I'll put a link to that video. Um, you can see that I'm running Arduino um, at the top of the screen, Arduino 1.6.4, and I've loaded my sketch, the Shadow MD dual controller template. Now what I have changed in this sketch, this is the sketch I am currently using. As per my prior video, PS3 controllers, the primary one is considered the one that controls the feet, secondary, the dome. And if your controller has the MAC address that the last pair begins with a zero, you have to alter the shadow code because it has a bug where it won't see that controller. Um, I have already done that. I mentioned it in my, prior, my previous video, there's a link in the Shadow MD Wiki page where you get the Shadow script here that we're looking at um, that points you to this fix. Uh, I believe it's a post on the astromech.net forums. Can't remember right now. So if you have a controller where the last MAC address is beginning with a zero, um, 
your droid might not see that controller and it might be because the code is not fixed and you have to manually make a change to make it see that so see my other video for that information everything else in this sketch was the uh, default other than this is now changed this is the line that I saw in the code when I figured maybe there's something in the code that'll let me change directions without having to mess with the wires because my wiring uh, one side wires are shorter than the other side so I would have uh, ended up having to crimp new connectors and get some longer wire and then resolder the quick XT90 connector that goes to my electronics board in order to swap the two right and the two left motor wires on the Sabertooth controller and that was a pain in the neck so I thought maybe there's a way to do that in software and sure enough I found this but it's very vague invert turn direction equals negative one is the default and then the comment this may need to be set to one for some configurations well I've set it to one now and I found that it did swap the left and right directions so the way I figured this out was I went into the code with the idea that it might be in there I found this invert turn direction but it doesn't say what it's turning um, sure right here there's above it um, there's another parameter you can change to set the saber tooth dead zone for the foot motors so okay does that mean this is for the foot motors but then you've got right below it dome auto speed uh, used when the dome automation is active so uh, this you know uh, what what is it inverting the turn direction of it's not really clear personally I would prefer and I guess I could change this since it's my code um, since I've altered it now but it should say something like if your droid moves forward and backward correctly but left and right are reversed change this negative one to a one and that would have eliminated all doubt instead of just saying maybe set to one for some configuration so how I figured out if this was indeed for the foot motors is that I copied that and I just did just a basic find on invert turn direction and there it is there click it again and it finds where I highlighted it to begin with so that that there is the upper part of the code where this user parameter invert turn direction equals one because I've changed it from negative one and then the only other place that's in the code is right here so foot drive speed so foot drive there's all kinds of foot drive stuff going on here so I figured well this must be the foot drive section right so I scrolled up and I saw sure enough foot drive motor control section so I knew that this most likely is reversing the foot drives and not the dome drive so if we go back here's where it is it talks about turn is turn number times the invert turn direction so I figured okay that does sound like that actually reverses left and right so I went ahead and made that change back up here from a negative one to a one and plugged in my Arduino 2560 and sent the new code to it and as you'll see in the video after this one it did in fact work so that turns changes your um, foot drive motors so if forward and backward are correct on your PlayStation controller but right or left are reversed you can change that negative one to a one and it'll fix it without having to swap pairs of wires on the Sabertooth controller now apart from the fact that I would prefer that this actually 
had a little bit more detail in the comment. I don't know why there isn't an invert turn direction, invert foot turn direction, and invert dome turn direction. Um, because I had to invert both, uh, using this for the feet is good. Uh, the dome, I don't have a problem like I do with the foot motors because the dome connects to the saber tooth, but there's only two wires because it's just one motor, whereas the saber tooth is controlling two motors. So it was easy for me to swap the wires on the siren, well, relatively easy. But if you're going to go ahead and put something in there that lets you change the turn direction of the foot motor, why not just add another line that lets you do it for the dome too? And then if somebody's doing one of them in their code, they can just do both of them if they're both reversed like mine were, and they don't have to do any rewiring at all. Um, but just a thought. So there you go. Um, this is the third time I've made this video because my editing skills are zero and I'm trying to get uh, this recording to merge in with my videos where I describe the hardware in the first part and then show the results in the third part. So hopefully this one will work. Well, uh, here are the results after swapping the motor on the dome. When I move my controller, I uh, don't know if this will be in focus enough, to the right, the dome goes left, but that's because R2 is facing us, so this is how it should be. When I spin this right and left, it goes the correct direction as if I was behind it operating. Same thing now that I have made the shadow code invert turn. I've changed it and now yeah, I probably can't see my fingers. This is in my house obviously and I don't have that much room. But he is now uh, going to crash into things. He is now turning in this direction. If I turn the joystick to the right, the dome is to the right. To the left, the dome goes to the left. I did that by swapping the wires that go to the motor or to the um, siren controller. And then here, with the change of the shadow code, he turns left when I do left and right when I do right. Extremely noisy, not sure if that's because of the carpet or just because my drives are loose-ish. Um, I don't have his speakers in at this point. But this is proof that that uh, command in the shadow code, the uh, invert turn direction, um, actually does work if you get R2 going forwards and backwards. But when you turn right, he goes left. And when you turn left, he goes right. You can change that in the code without having to swap the wires. Uh, let me get the camera and add this onto this video rather than making another one. Um, another thing that I've done here is I have nylon wire wrap. Um, you can get this stuff in different colors. The color I got is obviously black with red, just for the heck of it, rather than straight black, that I've used for the power switch and the foot relay switch. And this just helps keep uh, the wires instead of being bare wires that run all the way up through the leg and then around the corner and then into the droid there are some sharp um, 
Sorry about the lighting. There are some sharp corners in there and I don't want the wire to be touching those sharp corners because it might get eventually frayed. So that's why I use this nylon stuff. Um, you can get this on Amazon. Uh, this is the, the smaller size that you can get. And I like this over the corrugated um, stuff because the corrugated stuff is so rigid and it's also kind of sharp and can cut your fingers uh, while you're sliding wires in and out of it. This stuff is nylon and hopefully there's enough light here. It's nylon and it kind of conforms to the shape of your wire. It's hard to describe, but it's not like the corrugated that's kind of stays in its its preformed um, dimensions. This stuff you can kind of wraps around the wire and makes kind of a nicer, tighter um, wrapping around the wire, and it's not sharp. It won't cut you. The only trick with it is when you cut it to length, you have to use a lighter. Um, on the bottom edges to slightly melt them so that it doesn't start fraying because it's like a weaved nylon. So I cut them long enough to go up into the droid and then connect to the electronics board and what I will do is attach something to the inside of the body right here on both sides so that the wire is held like that up out of the way. I think I'm going to use these that I got on Amazon a while ago um, if they're strong enough with hot glue um, because they are adjustable plastic wire wrap things that you can reuse as opposed to a wire wrap that you'd have to cut um, to get that off because obviously anytime you need to move R2 by taking his legs off you're going to have to detach this from the electronics board so you don't want this over here held in place with a zip tie that you'd have to cut every time you do that so um, Obviously haven't done that yet on either side, but both sides have the same wire wrap to help uh, control the wires. I use the same thing down there at the bottom on the right, the foot relay switch. Um, it has that wrap and the power wires have the wrap to the power switch, but then the wrap just kind of stops there so that the same thing where it comes up in the droid and it's sharp it's not the bare wires that are touching anything that may eventually rub and cause wires to fray so there we go uh one more thing done he now steers in the proper direction and i've got the wire wrap there uh that's about all the progress i've had this year the nice weather is here but i've been neglecting my yard for the past two years because i've been spending so much time on r2 in the nice weather that i have discovered i have quite a bit of a mess going on in the yard that i've been taking care of so hopefully i will get back to sanding and priming and painting the rest of the body parts at the very least obviously i still need to do the entire dome again this is not the permanent dome this is just an older one because the one that i reprinted hasn't even got this part glued on so i'm just using that temporarily so there we go um, proof that the shadow code invert turn direction negative one or one will make r2 his left and right movement directions change when you have the forward and back directions working properly, but you have left and right wrong. You can switch wires around or you can do it in the code.